So I, I will not record anything anymore in the studio. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Today is Leonard's special day. Hello. Hello. Happy birthday, Leonard. He's getting a hug. I, I don't hug a lot of people, but Leonard deserved it. I also got a little surprise for it. So maybe go up and I will prepare it. He's of course getting a nice cake and candles. I hate these packages. Will you take my hand? Happy birthday. Thank you. Just don't know. Ah, there the water is. Oh, you want to wait for Louis? Yeah, let's wait for Louis. Okay, let's wait for Louis. <laughs> Louis, we're waiting for you. Maybe somewhere, somewhere there. Whoa, what the fuck? That's really close to our cars. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. They might crush your car to your birthday. And you get a new one. Yeah. yeah. Because awesome. it's all insured, so whatever happens, happens. Happy birthday, Louis. We got a cake for you. Yay! Woo! Happy birthday. Thank you. Should we eat it now or later? For well, the coffee break. Okay. okay. So first, uh, business stuff as usual. And then... Straight out of the secret room, another box, more gear. I know, I know, I know, I got a really big problem, but I just couldn't resist because this one is actually really interesting. I like these little suitcases with gear. Wow. This right here is a very special microphone by Antelope. They make microphones, of course, but also software that goes with the microphone and it emulates a ton of old microphones. So the software is kind of applying a certain characteristic to it, like a modeling microphone, that's what they call it. And I thought that's kind of interesting to have one microphone that can do multiple microphones for a lower price so I definitely will give it a test. Let me know if you're interested in a full review. The next time I have someone here singing, I will definitely test it. It's a great concept, but of course you need to try it out and see how it actually performs. But so far I love it. Looks cool. Packaging is nice. Idea is good, but I don't have the time to test it today because there's something important, urgent, and it all has to do with my first official artist sample pack on Splice. Louis is helping. Yes. Making it dark in here. Those two lights blasting onto my face. We're doing the cover picture for my Splice artist sample pack thing. I don't really like taking pictures, but we have to do it. All done. One of them will do it, hopefully. And now just back to business stuff. The Splice cover is done. The Splice demo track is done. Actually, everything is done. We're just waiting for Splice to announce the release date. I will let you know as soon as possible. I'm now up here in the A studio with Lewis. We're listening to demos, really special demos, because these are top lines. So singer songwriters that wrote something, 50 of them picking the best three and then making tracks with them. That's like the nicest way to work on vocal tracks.
Done with the listening session it was really amazing really good vocals they're actually way better than the ones that i recorded here in the studio so expect some some bangers some really good john Sion tracks coming up probably in three four months because first the other songs the paperwork and all this kind of stuff can take a while business stuff is annoying as you know but very important to make quality music now um yeah just heading back home And all done. That's the very lazy version of cooking with John San. You just open the package or throw it in the water, wait five minutes and it's done. And just really quick, some real talk. I've, I've realized those top lines that I got today, they are way better than the ones that I've made with the singer and songwriters in the past. And I just want to be able to deliver the best quality, make the best songs. I'm a producer and my task is producing and not really necessarily writing. I love it. I think I'm good at it, but I'm not perfect at it. But I, I love writing. I love being in the studio with a singer and songwriter. You actually have to make 10, 20 songs, like write them and then pick just the two best ones. This way you get better quality. And I just don't have the time to do that. I don't have the connections to really, really good singer and songwriters, people that do it professionally on a daily basis. So I rely on like Sony, Universal, their publishers to send me songs, me picking them. And I already know what I get kind of like, it's no surprise. So if you do a session, it's always a coin flip. If you end with something good or not, depends on the mood of you, the singer, songwriter. So I think just to get a better quality, vocal wise and songwriting wise i will stick at least for the rest of this year again to getting those top lines i i will not record anything anymore in the studio maybe later on back again if i have connections to better singer songwriters and then if, if the songs are not for me maybe not film it because this way then i will actually be able to sell it to someone else I will have to think about it, but I think it's it's the way to go, at least for now. I mean, that's basically how everyone else is doing it. I'm the only one stupid enough to write, record and do everything myself. And as I've already told you a million times as a producer, you have a certain task and not like making everything. I used to make my kicks myself, which sounded horrible. Now I'm using samples. It's better. Let someone else that is professional in that special task do it for you and you just control the end product. You make sure that it's your vision and that you drive the entire thing into the right direction. And that's what I want to focus on to just get better songs at the end. I hope this makes sense. I hope you understand that. So um, no more sessions for now, at least. Hopefully better songs, maybe on other labels. We'll see. Now the fast food. That's hot. I, I think I found my two favorite ones and I will try to get them and then work on them and turn them into full songs. And don't get me wrong, I, I won't stop writing music. I won't stop recording music. But from now on, if a song isn't perfect and I'm not 100% sure about it, I will just give it to, to a publisher and make sure someone else can actually shop for that top line. And this way I'm still getting my writing credits. That's actually really nice. I don't know where Vanessa got this. I like the color. I think this is just the best for the result, have more written songs to choose from and still write myself, but maybe then also for other people. I mean, why not? It's all fun. And that's what all of this is actually about. And before I end this video, let me tell you, there's the Martin for Work full interview online already. I will link it up there. If you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. It'll probably also link at the very end of this video. And the last thing for today, please go and follow Leonard on his Instagram. He's leaving very soon. If you want to keep on following what he's doing, how he's developing in the music business world, if you want to see him DJing and, and this kind of stuff behind the scenes, the first link in the description directly to his Instagram. That's it. I will, yeah, maybe start producing a little on these vocals or just 
try them out and see one which actually works the best for my style. We'll see us tomorrow back again in the studio. Sign out. Bye. 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 Bye.